and I just stepped in poop. That's one thing that drives me crazy, was when people don't clean up after their dogs. I mean, if you're taking your dog for a walk, bring a poop bag. I don't know what the point is of uh, letting your dog poop all over the place, especially if you're going to go walk there again. It drives me crazy. Kind of a dull and dreary day today. It, it looks like it's going to rain and I know that um, thunderstorms are in the forecast so I thought I'd come out with uh, Hippie Shake and Deegan and go for uh, a little walk before the, the rain comes. So hopefully we make it through our walk without getting uh, drenched because I didn't bring any wet weather gear. Now some people talk about their heart dog and uh, our logo is in fact a heart dog and Deegan um, is the dog that basically changed my life. Uh, I was, I had her, you know, from when she was born I got her as a puppy um, and when she was about two she started to be quite difficult and she actually ate a sock and I had to take her for uh, an emergency surgery. Um, you know, I'd grown up around dogs. My parents uh, raised and trained working dogs basically, but they weren't pet dogs. So I was a little hesitant to take her to like a family obedience class, but all of my uh, my neighbors and actually my vet recommended taking her to uh, McCann Professional Dog Trainers. And I'm so glad that I did. Um, after a couple of weeks, I started to see her change. Uh, it was such a dramatic thing for me. Uh, and basically at that time, when I, it was so gratifying to see this wild and crazy black lab become um, you know a, a biddable um, dog with that was so much more fun to work with and you know play retrieve with and do all the things that you want your dog to do um, that uh, I fell in love with dog training I spent uh, you know the next year or so training Deegan uh, and then I was there so often that um, Marty and Deb asked if I wanted to become an instructor so basically it's like a year-long apprenticeship I, um, I did my apprenticeship uh, again loving every moment of it there's something really special about seeing a dog build a relationship with their owner especially when that dog comes in and they're wild and crazy and you can see them start to work a little bit for their owner not because they have to but because they want to and that was amazing for me so I finished my year-long apprenticeship and uh, you know I became a trainer uh, that was maybe 10 years ago now um, and it, 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 it's, it's entire this dog has basically changed my life you know this dog has um, changed the people that I've been introduced to and the relationships that I have and has introduced me to um, uh, you know a bunch of people that I wouldn't have met otherwise so um, at the time I really wasn't that excited about uh, training her but looking back it's incredible the, the difference that she's made in my life After that swim, it's pretty apparent that um, Deegan is in uh, desperate need of a brushing. Her coat is uh, is really coming out. She um, often does sort of blow her coat a couple times a year, and uh, it's pretty bad right now. So we're gonna have to address that when we get home. Hey, good morning. I've been uh, missing in action. I should say good afternoon, actually. I've been missing in action a little bit today because I have been buried in front of my computer. I have a really big agility camp uh, that I'm hosting this weekend at the Agility Arena, and I've been trying to uh, come up with some really creative games and courses and all kinds of stuff. We're covering some pretty cool topics, so uh, it's forcing me to uh, get my creative juices going, uh, which is actually a lot of fun, and uh, I have to come up with some prizes and some things like that before the end of the week. So. Uh, Hopefully I can uh, come up with something good. Um, anyways, I just thought I would take a break and uh, train the little pup pup here on a few things. Um, we don't have a huge yard here. Obviously I can go to a big giant agility arena whenever I want to, but um, it's great just to have a few things here so I can pop out whenever I want to throughout the day and just do like a little bit quick with her. Um, 
And tonight, unfortunately, we have to miss our agility class. So we take um, two agility classes a week, um, foundation agility classes at our hall, or at our agility arena, and we also take two obedience classes a week. So she's really busy. Oh, did you find something? I think somebody's ready to go. Um, so tonight, though, I have to uh, cover for somebody instead of being able to take class, which um, is still fun too, of course. Uh, so I thought I would get some extra training in now before uh, before I have to go to work tonight. Um, so yeah, hopefully uh, we try something fun today. I have 30 minutes before dinner is ready. I have a countdown on my phone, so I'm quickly taking these guys to the park because I have an extremely bad habit of after teaching all night and not seeing my best friends in the whole world who I happen to teach with, uh, we get chatty and there's not a lot of dog training that goes on. <laughs> Unless we like make a, make an effort, but uh, I teach with uh, my good friend Angela on Monday nights, and it has been like three weeks since we've seen each other. Uh, so, anyways, I'm really looking forward to being able to like sit down and have a conversation with her. We're so busy; it's hard to stay in touch. Um, anyways, so exercising the dogs now. So if I don't train, I don't feel as guilty. These guys are having fun though, especially this little one, Miss Hippie Shake. Have fun. Yes. <laughs> Hippie needs a haircut really bad. She's gonna get one this week. Good girl. Ready? Go! <laughs> oh, she loves to do that. It makes me laugh so hard. I don't know if you guys have ever used a Furminator, but these things are really, really great. Anybody's a lab owner, they know this. They know what this is all about when your lab starts to shed because she must be the hairiest dog or the, the sheddiest dog we've got. The sheddiest dog? Yeah, yeah. I know that's not a word. Did but, she come with that leaf on her too? Uh, she, I think the leaf may, wasn't on her at first, but it, it may have ended up on her. But <laughs> if you're a bird in this area, you're pretty excited that we have a lab. Yeah, we, ha we have the uh, best going rate it's, for birdhouse like, material. This is a Serta mattress for a bird somewhere. <laughs> So the beginning of the week is pretty busy for me. I teach uh, 13 classes, uh, agility classes a week, uh, five different levels from foundation ranging all the way up to international handling. And uh, we just had a brand new session start on Tuesday night. So I went ahead and asked them what their goals for, were for the, uh, for the next eight weeks and they sent back a bunch of ideas. So uh, I love that because I can both help them accomplish whatever goals they have and it also gives me an opportunity to be more creative with classes so this week we have lots of fun stuff that we're going to be doing there's um, some pretty challenging obstacle contact tunnel discriminations um, we're going to be doing uh, working on getting the dogs to slice across the bars when they are at open angles which tends to be for a lot of the bigger faster border collies a uh, really easy place for them to knock bars um, weave distractions with tunnels and jumps and all kinds of stuff really really close around them so the dogs have to learn to sort through that and then uh, a bigger scale um, course where they're going to be focusing on using the difference between front crosses and blind crosses and where each of those things is best suited um, and then also working on German turns which is a more international style um, maneuver which a lot of people struggle with uh, so I'll be doing that in my more advanced classes so it should be a good week uh, I'm looking forward to uh, to getting back in, into the swing of things. Last week was pretty easy because there wasn't as many classes because of the holiday and uh, this week we're right back at it again.
Oh, it's the last class of the night. It's our international handling class, and there's a few people away today, so it's a, a small class, which has been awesome because these guys get to do the course like a bunch of times. So uh, we're just about to try the one where there's like a million German turns in 18 obstacles or something. So uh, I'll try and get a couple shots for you. Hey guys, we just finished class. We just came in here to debrief a little bit. Uh, now, Angie and I teach a couple of the classes tonight, and then the last one she actually takes with her dog and uh, with Cecil. And uh, how did you think class went tonight? It's good. It was hard. Lots yeah. of running. Lots of running. I, I made her run a lot tonight. Um, now, Ange is getting ready with Cecil for what competition do you have next? Uh, AAC Nationals in BC. Yeah, so all the way out in British Columbia where she's going to be trying out for the AAC uh, World Championship team with her Aussie uh, Cecil, so that's going to be awesome. So yeah, we're both tuckered out. We've done our chatting. We did a little bit of training with the puppies, and now we're going to bed. Hopefully bed. we get home before midnight. Okay, good night, everyone. See you tomorrow. Good night.